Alright guys, this is Versus Z with a video review of Deluxe Class Chromia from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Unfortunately for Chromia and her other two sisters, they don't really show up too much on screen and they don't really get a lot of talking time, so we don't really get to know any of their personalities or anything like that. Though in the box it does say that Chromia is as tough as nails, she's always spoiling for a fight, and the most interesting fact is that her and Ironhide have been longtime friends. Chromia's alt mode is a Suzuki B King, for those of you who are wondering. She comes with this little clip stand here that can clip into somewhere here, and it acts as, I guess, more cannons, and then you can clip it on back here along these hinges on the exhaust pipes for more cannons, but you risk shooting the handlebars off, so that's pretty stupid. This is pointless in alt mode. Um, what is useless, though, is she does have a kickstand that you can flip in and out like that, and she'll lean on the side and she'll stand. She does have two rolling wheels of course, they work perfectly fine for mine. Nothing, no friction from anywhere, so she works perfectly fine. Uh, you got Cybertronian everywhere on the sides right here, the gas tank right here in the back, Autobot symbol. This moves for some reason, but I mean I'm pretty sure it's only for transformation, because why would this move, but the wheels don't. That's pretty stupid. Um, but it's not bad. Uh, you have the missile stored back here, clear missile stored back there. If you look though, all over the black pieces in alt mode, there's quite a bit of mechanical detail. So I'm pretty sure if you're able to paint that, which I do plan on doing, if you're able to paint that and, and stuff, and these I'm pretty sure don't need to be blue, I'm pretty sure they're like pipes or whatever, add some of these details and I'm pretty sure Chromia would look great all over. Transforming Chromia is not hard at all. You want to take the kickstand, make sure it's tucked in. But you want to start by flipping that so you can get some leverage. Take the side pieces and just part them because these are basically Chromia's arms. Then you're going to bring this section out forward, this section out forward, or free the arm a little bit and then bring it out forward. Then you have Chromia's head back here. Take that part of the body, take this part of the body, flip it up. Take Chromia's head and flip it out of there. Lift these up to the side. Attach her torso, and this is one of the negative points right here is the torso, or her chest, at least. Bring these out. You want to align, if you want, you can align this along the axis of the part of, the, of her upper body. You don't have to if you don't want to, it's totally up to you. You want to take this panel and bring it down a little bit until it sort of stops right there, like so. This arm is pretty much done, except you want to flip this one as well, so it's just about there. Here, take the license plate um, panel, flip it back, and she's pretty much done. All you have to do is take the seat and tuck it in between these two tabs right there. So you have Chromia, but she just can't stand. Now where do you fix that? You get this thing. You clip it onto the black, these black uh, round area right here, they clip into place. And if I can get it in. There you go. And the good thing, what, what I find cool is if you push the wheel down a little bit more, you'll notice that the wheel will rotate as you push it around. It's kind of just for playability, I guess. It doesn't add or take away from anything, in my opinion, but yeah, it's just there. Oh, I forgot. This thing, you want to rotate. Rotate so that's right here. Now the handlebars where they go is totally up for interpretation. I like to tuck them in between these two bars, like so. It's easy because they're soft plastic, rubber plastic. Well, all right, whatever. I'm wasting time doing it, but you know this area here I, I think is totally up for interpretation. A lot of Chromia, her overall look in robot mode is totally just up for interpretation because you barely even get to see her in the movie. When it comes to articulation, Chromia might not be the best, so please just bear with it. Uh, her head has two joints, a hinge right there so you can go forward and backwards, and partially for transformation, and you have a ball joint on the head itself. She does have some light piping. Her eyes are painted blue. 
I've noticed that if you still shine some light through that little clear part there, it does actually shine through the painted blue eyes. So, you know, I think light piping is still there. Uh, elbow, or I mean, sorry, the arms can, are on the ball joint, so they can pretty much go anywhere. That goes for both arms. Both arms also have a swiveling joint under, the, right under the shoulder. Both arms heavy. Also a swiveling joint for the elbows to let it go in and out. This arm in particular can bend only so far, but it also activates the Mecha Lab gimmick. This shoulder, you know, has a swivel, but it also bends at the elbow. Probably a 90 degree or a little bit more. Now it gets a little weird. Here's a hinge, so it can go up and down. Here's on a ball joint, but can only, are these two are ball joints, but they can only go pretty much that far. And they can only go so far until the chest snaps in half. Um, here also you have a hinge for like right, right below the wheels, right before the wheels. And uh, so yeah, not too much articulation. It's kind of sad, but um, for the design of this particular character, I think it's all workable. Yo, before I continue, I forgot to mention the missile fires. Yay. So I can close now, and this is actually my 7th or 8th take trying to close, so I'm just going to make it as simple as possible. I love the Chromia figure. I love a majority of her, aside from all the negatives that I will mention. Um, she is a unique figure, unique, uniquely designed figure. And if you're into uniqueness, then maybe Chromia is a figure for you. You gotta give her a shot. And I'm gonna make it as simple as that. You need to give Chromia a shot. The biggest problem with Chromia is she really cannot pose, but what you're looking at here is a very sweet, slick pose. I, I thought of Sideswipe when I um when I started to pose. I was like, hey, maybe Sideswipe, and then, you know, if I get her and the other bikes, <clears throat> they look good together doing these sideways poses, you know, coming around the corner kind of thing. But anyway... Posit anything that I'm going to mention next, which are the negatives, could be one of the reasons you might not get Chromia. One, the chest, it just, it likes to collapse um, when you're transforming it from bike, m from alt mode to robot mode. It, it, it just does not snap in. It just kind of friction holds. This arm, her entire left arm, has got the gimmick and the firing and the launching missile. It's got a lot of weight to it, so you're going to have some weight issues with that. Um... Also, the fact that she can't stand, you need you, you need this to get her to stand. But you know, sometimes you can just get around it, like like so. I've actually noticed some people, um, and I've seen some pictures. This guy chopped this entire section off so that he keeps this part of the stand, and you get Chromia's uh, bottom her foot wheel, I guess, in the front. It gives off a much better effect than just using this whole thing. So you might want to go ahead and try and do that. Uh, the biggest negative has to be just her scale, and I don't even have to get into detail about that. You already know the problem with uh, Chromia. Scale is the biggest issue. Um, I'm trying my best to get around it, but whenever I pose her next to the Autobots, it, she just totally looks out of place and way too big compared to everyone else. So that's the biggest problem. I'm a, I'm a scale freak. That you know, it's a huge problem for me, but I'm tr I'm tr you know I'm trying my best to ignore it. But everything else about her, simply give Chromia a shot. Um, though there are, you know, there are a lot of <clears throat> negative factors that'll keep you guys from getting her. I say give her a shot. She's unique, and also you have to keep in mind that a lot of the figure is not the figure's fault; it's the design's fault. You also, you also have to keep in mind that the design of Chromia is taken from two different things colliding into one. One thing, alien; the other thing, robot. Alien, robot. Chromia is a good example of that because an alien robot can take any shape or form they want to take you know chromia is just one of those lucky people so give her a shot guys this has been a video review for the Lux class chromia from transformers revenge of the fallen hope you guys learned a few things maybe you know maybe your mind's a little open to chromia now and i'll catch you guys later peace